So in this module, we're talking about exactly what it looks like to not just slap a piece of wood in the opening of our home. What does it look like to actually make a door functional? So let's start off this module by looking at what it means to show and not tell when it comes to your landing page, your front door. Last module, when we looked at our why, we took a look at what it means to shape our text, our copy on our website, to, to focus around that why, the reason behind it, the purpose behind our why. You know, whether you have a product, a personality, or something else, you have a digital home and you have a purpose and a reason behind that. So how does your why shape into the functionality of your door? How can we take what we learned in that previous lesson, that previous module, and bleed that into actually showing our why, showing the reason behind things that we do, showing uh, what we do, why we do it, and how we do it? I mean, sure, you can make a list or a, a details or feature page just outlining every single thing that you do or your company does, and you can make it look pretty nice, but there's only so much editing that you can do, right? So why not just make things easier? Now, you all remember elementary school years um, where you kind of have show and tell and I don't even know if they still do this now or if it's even still a thing but there's something psychological behind showing something as you're describing it behind uh, putting a picture or a face behind features or or something that you're describing this might look like as simple as putting a picture up of yourself on your blog so that before you just even scroll past the the title the the fold of your website they can put a face behind the words that they're reading or as we're going to look at you can showcase your product through an interactive demo a different kind of experience or even a video it helps to kind of know what they're looking at or what they're in for before you even purchase or download anything so how can you show in a unique way that's exciting to your users exciting to your visitors and also still aligns with your why a better question how can you leave your visitors wanting more a great example of a website that I've seen do this extremely well, and there's so many, but one is feedback.fish. So why don't we take a look? I love this website because even before the fold, you see this handy little uh, meet the widget text. It's inviting, it's, it's beckoning you to keep scrolling and to find out exactly what they're all about. Uh, so to find out exactly how they're solving feedback and how they make customers happy. I mean, that's what their why is. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in real quick just so we can see a little better. So here on this widget, you see that you're getting an exact widget of what this would look like on your website, as well as some sample code down here to show you how easy it is to integrate. Now, without even having to click off of their landing page to visit a, a features page or get a detailed list of exactly what they do, you can see exactly how the widget works. If I click on issue, I can type anything into this box right here or I can click on an idea or uh, other. But without even having to click off of their landing page, I know exactly how they're solving their customers' unique problem. <laughs> and plus it's, it's a lot more fun and exciting just than, than just reading about each specific feature that they have. Exercise time. Let's build a Pinterest-ish board uh, with three different images showing exactly what we do instead of telling. So I want you to go to your about page, uh, go to your features page, wherever it is that you have that long list of things that you do and, and you do it well. And just note, this will actually look differently if you're a blogger or a, a church or a solo founder, it's, it's gonna look different. But there's still ways to show exactly who you are and what you're doing and how you're solving your customers' unique problems. So I want you to find three pictures or even three different screenshots of your product or, or or three different pictures of the feeling behind what you're trying to show through your product, your company, yourself. Maybe it's screenshots of your product in action, or maybe it's just a video of you telling exactly why this your customers need your product, need your information, need the thing that you're telling them about. Now you only have so much time with your visitors. You only have so much time when they come to your front door for them to learn everything they need to know about your product, about who you are, your company, etc. So how are you going to get to showing them who you are and showing them what you're about uh, before you lose them, before they uh, walk away from your front, front door never to be seen again? So what are you going to do with them while they're at your door? See you in the next lesson.